The latest now in the race for the White House. As Kamala Harris held a rally in the battleground of Nevada last night, Donald Trump is drawing criticism from Republican allies for his false and harsh personal attacks on Harris. Mary Bruce is on the trail. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, George. Well, 36 days to go, and Donald Trump is really ramping up his false and disparaging attacks, taking it to a whole new level while Harris is out trying to court those key voters that could determine this race. Overnight, Vice President Kamala Harris making her pitch out west in Battleground, Nevada, working to shore up support among Latino voters critical in the state. We must have comprehensive immigration reform with strong border security and an earned pathway to citizenship. Former President Donald Trump at a rally in Erie, Pennsylvania Sunday talking about crime and how stores in certain areas lock up items, making the argument that police officers would be able to do their job better if there was, quote, one really violent day. One rough hour, and I mean real rough, the word will get out and it will end immediately. End immediately. His campaign later telling Politico that Trump was clearly just floating it in jest. This came as the former president took his blistering personal attacks on the vice president to a new level, now openly calling for her to face prosecution. She should be impeached and prosecuted for her actions. And in a degrading line of attack, Trump falsely suggesting Harris has a mental disability. Trump saying she is, quote, mentally impaired. Those comments sparking swift condemnation from advocates for people with disabilities and provoking outrage and exasperation from some of his Republican rivals and allies, like former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan. Now he's questioning her mental competence, and I think that's insulting not only to the, to the vice president, but to people that actually do have uh, mental disabilities. And Republican Congressman Tom Emmer. I think we should stick on the issues. And this morning, the running mate, Senator J.D. Vance and Governor Tim Walls are now preparing for their face off. Tomorrow night's debate, George, likely the last one of this election. Mary Bruce, thanks very much. And of course, we're going to have full team coverage of the CBS News vice presidential debate between Governor Walls and Senator Vance. That's tomorrow beginning at 8 Eastern right here on ABC.